All right, so we got the 430 spoilers, and this is the final chapter of My Hero Academia. Pretty wild. And Izuku is losing his quirk, but also gaining, I think, a power suit? We'll talk a little bit more about that, but the chapter begins with Deku and Tomura's words at the end of the war. You've already destroyed it. It will depend on what you guys do from now on. Deku repeats the narration from the first chapter, but with a few differences. People are not born equal. Each of us has a different form or shape, but despite that, we still care for others. And these differences, both internal and external, allow us to run towards other people and search for a point of intersection. Kota enters the teacher's room. Big bro Midor Deku sensei, where should we gather for the afternoon class? We then see that Deku is wearing a suit and writing in his notebook. This is the truth about society that I learned when I was 17. So yeah, uh, this is pretty interesting. I think this is like a time skip. It could be eight years possibly into the future. Not really sure, we'll talk a little bit more about that later, but Izuku apparently becomes a teacher at UA. I'm pretty sure that's what the uh, implication is here. And Kota, I guess, is one of his students, which is pretty cool. Kota uh, finally joining UA, which we knew that he was destined for. That day, I heard everyone's voices, and that motivates me to this day. If caring for others is the first step to becoming a hero, then that day, everyone was the greatest hero. On this page, there are several panels showing a bunch of different things. We see Deku coming home and smiling at Inko. All Might helping Gran Torino to walk, the students taking exams, and during the sports festival, Mirko testing new prosthetics, Mount Lady and Kamoi working together, Shoji and Koda shaking hands with the heteromorphic scientist, Tokoyami and Hawks talking, Aizawa and present Mike in a graveyard, Endeavor with his sidekicks, the students meeting Melissa, the League of Villains book being sold, Bakugo in rehab, Deku and Ochako together in the snow wearing scarves and compress reading the book, and Kota and Eri holding hands while Mandalay is looking proud. I was able to live a dream that should have been impossible. The story that began when my body moved before I can even think has come to an end alongside the embers of One for All. As Deku says this, we see panels showing the embers fading away little by little. So yeah. We're seeing a whole bunch of things wrapping up here and coming to an end. And the main thing, I guess, is uh, Izuku losing one for all and its embers. Like, I guess this shows that he can no longer use one for all. So he's pretty much back to being quirkless at this point, which, you know, we talked about this a couple months ago with the final fight against Shigaraki, but this series is coming full circle here. In more ways than one, but with Izuku starting off quirkless and then ultimately ending off quirkless. Like he got one for all, buffed it up, got it to be as powerful as it needed to be to defeat all for one. Then he did that, and then he lost it. He kind of like took on a job for like three years. I think that's how long it took, right? Maybe even less than that, possibly. We see some panels of the graduation and how they followed UA's tradition. Because Bakugo and Monoma blow up the stage right after Ida's speech. The narration then says, do you want to know why I'm still writing? Well, because there are still some pages left. Eight years later, we see Dai's classroom. The teacher asks the students what they want to become, and one of them says that he's going to be a hero. One wants to work in Hatsume's lab, one wants to become a great doctor like Dr. Yoshida, and one wants to join Labrava's company. So Dai is this new student that we're going to see a little bit in this chapter. Apparently we already saw him in the series before. He was like this random kid holding an Endeavor like plushie looking up at the All Might statue. One of the students sees that Dai wants to become a hero and says that he'll never make it with his quirk. He also says that there are fewer villains now and that the number of heroes has stabilized, so only the strongest kids have a chance. So that's pretty cool actually, now that there are fewer villains due to like what happened with the war and the fallout of that and everything, there's not really a need for an excess of heroes like there was before. So now if you're going to become a hero, you have to be like elite. I guess it's almost like becoming a Navy SEAL in this world at this point, or, or close to that. 
Like, you're not really gonna get at Monomas anymore. After School Dai says that people have changed. When he was a kid, everyone wanted to be like All Might Endeavor, Genus, Deku, or Dynamite. He feels that he's the only one still acting like a child and feels insecure about it, which is why he goes to the All Might statue. Cut to Shoji receiving the Imamura Award for his efforts resolving prejudice-based incidents in a peaceful way. He dedicates the award to all the heteromorphs who marched to the hospital eight years ago and says that he's only here today thanks to their will. Next, we see that the Ingenium, Froppy, Creati, and Aravity team is visiting schools all over the country and that the Quirk Counseling expansion project created by Uraraka is considered one of the most essential aspects of today's society. Oh, so that's cool. Uraraka winds up making a Quirk Counseling project. And this, of course, inspired her because of what she found out about Toga and how her upbringing led her to becoming who she was. And only if she had quirk counseling, she could have led a better path. So she's kind of doing this in wake of that. We see a panel of Eri with her friends from the music club. And Aizawa shows Deku a video of Bakugo screaming at a civilian for filming him too closely. Aizawa says that this will make him fall down the rankings and Todoroki will shoot ahead. Shoto patrols day and night and treats his fans very well. Recently, hardly anyone calls him Endeavor's son anymore. Deku says he'll pass Mount Lady, Kamoi, and maybe even Mirio in the rankings. Also, Monoma and Hononuki spots are great too. Aizawa asks if Deku doesn't feel lonely, and he replies that during Fuwa's talk with Aizawa in Chapter 425, he realized that he could use his knowledge and experiences to help other people, even without a quirk. He says that he thinks that's a cool way to live. Deku asks if Aizawa agrees, but Aizawa says that he should be stricter with the students. Nowadays, most students who enter UA think they've guaranteed to become heroes and make it big, so it's important to be strict so they don't get too arrogant. Deku says that he's barely seen his friends since graduation, since their days off don't coincide. On his way home from work, he sees official Tokoyami products and Kirishima on the TV. Some children run around shouting, Unbreakable! But one of them stumbles. Then for the rest of this sequence, Izuku winds up talking to that die kid. And it ultimately ends with the chapter almost ending until All Might comes in and smashes through the end text. And he apologizes for the delay and Deku says that he could have met him at the airport but All Might wanted to give him a surprise gift. The data from his fight against All For One eight years ago opened up many possibilities. Technology evolves just like quirks, All Might says as he holds a briefcase. Deku says that this must have cost a lot. And All Might says that it was developed by a friend of his from the US and Hatsume and financed by the Class A alumni, especially Bakugo. Take this to heart, kid. You've earned this power too, fair and square. So this is really fascinating. And apparently this is like a suit for Izuku to wear because in the final panel, we're gonna see all of the students from Class 1A as their adults, I suppose. And I think Izuku is wearing a suit. And I'll go more into this in my review tomorrow. But the suit is probably going to be like All Might's uh, Iron All Might suit. Or whatever it was called. But I think it's going to have a longer shelf life than that. The final double spread in the series shows all of Class A students as adults in their hero costumes. This is the story of how we'll continue to reach out. Chapter 430 of My Hero Academia. So yeah, that's the end. And wow, uh, pretty interesting ending. Feels a little rushed, but overall, I guess this whole epilogue felt a little rushed too. But like I said, I'll go over more of this in my final chapter review, which should be out tomorrow. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. And if you liked it, please give it a like and please subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.